let's talk tonight, uh, and let's start with the Patriots. No Julian Edelman. Uh, yep. What do you think the impact of that will be on the Patriots' offense, and how do you think they'll make up for his loss? Um, you know, I think there'll be some impact, and it might not be totally discernible, only because I think they have some other players who can theoretically do what he does. Uh, fortunately, they still have Amendola. Um you know, I think over time, let me answer it this way. I think over time as this year progresses, and I think you saw it a little bit toward the end of last year when they didn't have Cooks and didn't have Dorsett, I think you'll see a little more vertical element to the pass game. As I said, it started a little last year. Hogan was the beneficiary at times. Uh, the last time they were really vertical in any meaningful way was with Randy Moss. Uh, but I think you'll see that a little more just because now the players at wide receiver will allow them to at least build some of that into their offense. Do you think that, Greg, I explains them trading for Brandon Cooks and, and more recently trading for Philip Dorsett? It seems like you know they were the first one to really focus on the slot receivers, the middle of the field. Is this another example of the Patriots kind of uh, zigging while everybody else zagging, getting these well, deep threats? No, I think it's dimensions. Look, uh, Bill Belichick's a whole, whole hell of a lot smarter than I am, obviously. But, you know, I think it comes down to dimensions within an offense. I mean, Brady's great, no question. Brady wins before the ball snapped. He has phenomenal rapport with, with veteran receivers like Edelman, who's now not there, where they can they can make decisions in a split second after the ball snapped with so many of their choice routes and option routes. But I think that every coach would like every dimension that you can have on an offense. And that you could argue that the dimension they didn't have, Hogan gave it to them to some degree later in the season, but certainly Cooks and, and theoretically Dorsett, if he can acclimate quickly, are true vertical guys. They give you a vertical dimension, which theoretically they didn't have. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.